Hey, how can I help you? Right, good afternoon. A cavalry sword. Civil uh, War officer sword. Model 1860. Belong to uh, Colonel Bassett. This is pretty cool. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm selling a Model 1860 Officer Civil War sword. I found the sword up around Yosemite. The sword is in beat up condition considering it went through 22 battles. I'm selling the sword because my wife wanted a new kitchen and my wife should get what she wants. What's his name again? Bassett. OK. Do you know much about this? Colonel Bassett came into the uh, Civil War as a captain into the 17th Regiment, one of the most highly decorated officers, because he went in as captain, came out as a brave general, went through 22 skirmishes and battles, and was there at least surrender. There's no other sword that's seen as much battle as this sword has seen. OK. What do you want to do with this? I'm going to sell it. And how much do you want for it? 20 grand. 20 grand. You mind if I have someone look at this? No, I would actually welcome it. All right, I will be right back. Um, hang out. OK. It is always nice to have an expert look at it. I'm excited to listen to what he has to say. It's uh, history, and that's what excites me, is to relive the history of what these guys went through during the Civil War. The problem is, I don't know if it was used in battle, and I know nothing about this Bassett guy. So I'm bringing in the smartest guy I know because he's always got the answers. This is the sword of the colonel that he says was later a general. OK, this and, is and the Colonel Bassett that you called me yes, about? Yes, that, oh, that is the guy, nice. Colonel Bassett. Um, I've never heard of him. The, the, you know, one of the things about the Civil War is there are, there are so many men involved that a lot of officers sort of drop off the radar. You know, you hear about the real big name ones, and you hear the ones that got some kind of really cool name, Stonewall Jackson or something like that. Isaac Bassett, there, there's no cool name there. I'm curious, what is your concern about it? It, it is obviously a Civil War sword. No, I mean, it, it's got his list of his battles right here. Oh, it's really? got some engraved, okay. it's got his name engraved on it. It would have been extremely unusual for Bassett to have this done. You didn't engrave your own sword. Correct. People would give them to you. Given that this is Colonel Bassett and it's ending it with Gettysburg, that makes sense because he made Colonel in May of 1863. Gettysburg is July of 1863, so this was probably given to him as a presentation piece. Everything fits, everything's right, and this is an absolutely original Civil War presentation sword, and you don't normally find those. I mean, he's saying that it's this was broken off in battle, and I don't think there's any way to prove that. No, because if this was done from something hitting it, you would see some sign of, of bending. It looks to me like it's just a snap. My guess is if something like this had actually been broken in battle, there'd be a record of it. He would have made sure of that. OK. You gave me all the information I need and more. <laughs> <laughs> I always try. <laughs> You're the best, man. Good to see you. Very good to meet Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, the sword is in terrible condition, because if it was in good shape, you'd have people lining up around the block that would want this. All right, uh, I'll tell you right now, if this thing was in beautiful condition, I'd offer you $10,000 for it, because you have a Civil War general sword. But it's just, the break in it just detracts so much. In this shape, I'll offer you $2,500. Well, I'm just going to, I'll have to decline that. OK. I mean, what's your best price? Yeah, we're too far apart. I completely understand. But um, thanks for bringing it in, man. I really appreciate it. I very it. much appreciate you looking at it. OK. The expert brought up two or three facts that I was totally unaware of. I think I'm going to continue coming up with some more research, and then I'll probably put it back up for sale.